Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome back to another RebelScum.com video. And today, we are doing the 3 3 quarter scale Rebel Alliance toys of the Battle for Hoth. This isn't even close to all of it. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and start right there. This is nowhere close. This might be relatively close to almost maybe half of it. With the exception of, of course, various character releases from the early 80s all the way up to today in the vintage collection, there's just been so much released for the Battle of Hoth over the years. And that's kind of where we're at right now. It's where do we begin? Where does a collector start if they want to build a Battle of Hoth diorama or build a Rebel Echo base diorama? Where do we begin if we're trying to do a whole set of carded? Well, if you're going to do a whole kit set of carded and you want to stick with modern, you're going to want to start with 95 and work your way up. If you want to stick with just vintage collection, you're going to start around 2010 and work your way up because there was a good amount released in the early days of VC. In fact, the really early, early days of VC. For example, VC number two is right here, and it is the Hoth Princess Leia. A lot of, lot of awesome Hoth stuff, even up to current in the vintage collection. And many, many of these characters, for those of you who want to have the absolute best version with the best face sculpt and the best articulation, even some of those earlier VCs that nailed it with pretty much all of those things, updated them just a little bit more for today's collectible standards. But where do we start? Like I said, uh, if you're starting modern, you're going to want to start, like I said, around 95. If you have to collect everything or at least one of each character, well, maybe you're not going to want some of those bulkier Power of the Force 2 figures, but there's a lot of cool play sets and things that you can get from Power of the Force 2 that you can't get in any other toy line. Now, I don't have it in front of me right here right this second, but there is a Hoth battle playset where it comes with one of the turrets, much like the turret probot playset from the 80s. It comes with one of those awesome big standing tall white turrets from the Battle of Hoth, as well as the shield generator off to the side. You get a little bit of a trench to put your Hoth rebel soldiers in. It's a very cool display and really great for building, again, dioramas or Hoth displays. Aside from that, of course, we got our first modern release of the Rebel Snowspeeder. Now, I have that same toy right here in front of me in the Power of the Jedi packaging, and it does come with a Luke and a DAC. Uh, very, very similar to this one. Same mold, just some slightly different paint apps, of course, and slightly different quality of plastic, as well as not, it, this one doesn't include the lights and sounds of the original release back in 95 for the first modern one or the original, original release back in the early 80s. Now, if you want the best version of the Snowspeeder in 3 3 quarter scale, you're going to want to grab this one right here. It's going to be in this blue box featuring awesome open cockpit, two seats for both pilots. It's slightly smaller than the original mold release, but it's more in scale as a result as well. Because while this one was cool, it was, it was just, a little, just a little too big. Just a little bit. This one also has the tow cable. It has the harpoon gun has swappable cannons if you want missile firing cannons because your kid likes to play with your stuff, which, hey, I get it. I like to play with my Star Wars toys too. Uh, it does have those, or it has the more screen accurate laser cannons that plug into the side of the snow speeder. It's, it's a very cool piece. There's lots and lots of Hoth Rebel soldiers that have been released over the years. The first modern one, of course, was released right here in the Power of the Force 2 card. But there's another version that was released with the laser dish turret on Power of the Force 2 card. And then, of course, we had some other updates in the 2003 Saga Collection toy line. We've gotten some of the protocol droids that go along with that collection over the years. This is R3PO. He's one of the Rebel Alliance protocol droids that you can see on Echo Base. We've even gotten some medical droids, speaking about droids, and many, many other characters aside from various versions and various updates of the core main characters. But for, again, those generic ones like your troopers, you're going to have troopers coming all the way back from about 96, 97, all the way up to current in the Vintage Collection. The latest one was released at the end of 2018 in the revitalization, the first wave of the return of the vintage collection. Fully articulated cloth goods, very, very cool piece. And 
Almost every single different release of the Hoth Rebel Soldier has had a different face sculpt. So, for those of you who are army builders and want to collect every single different one, there's multiples in VC, there's some in Legacy Collection and various figure packs, there's some various single card releases, there's even this really awesome armory pack right down over here that comes with some awesome Hoth gear, this little tank-looking little droid, some really cool stuff that you only saw that one time, but will help you really build out those collections. For those of you who are going more for the internal stuff of Echo Base, again, I've got, there's droids like R3PO, there's droids like the FX7 Medical Droid. This was the first modern release of the FX7 Medical Droid, but this is one of those where Hasbro kind of nailed it on the first time, and this figure, this specific figure, even got a vintage collection release in one of the special figure action sets of the vintage collection. And of course, you've got the timeless 2-1-B medical droid. And in Power of the Jedi as well, they also released a playset with Luke in the back to tank for a place for the FX-7 medical droid. Of course, you can stand up your 2-1-B medical droid next to that. There's various versions of Luke. Speaking of Luke, we've got the best version of Luke possible. You've got an awesome Hoff Luke right here, but you've also got one of the earliest modern ones right here in this box with his Tauntaun just before he gets attacked by the Wampa, which we have a, we have a good updated 5 POA version of Hoth Luke over here that comes with the Force Link 2.0 Wampa. And that Wampa is so good, it's actually just a scaled down version of the Black Series 6 inch scale Wampa. So it has all the same articulation and features of the Black Series 6 inch scale Wampa. But for those of you who want to get some of those earlier Wampas, of course there was a Wampa in Power of the Force 2, but the next best Wampa, if you can't get the Force Link one, in my opinion, is going to be the 2003 Saga Wampa. It also has the removable arm, just like the Force Link 2.0 one, but it's got slightly different goods, better paint apps in my opinion, comes with his meat club, while if you look on the back, he's taking a bite of it, which that's super cool. And it comes with part of his ice cave, and there's a Luke release in this packaging that goes along with it to complete that ice cave diorama or display. And like I said, many characters have had many, many awesome fully articulated updates, and some of them come in really cool value packs, like this battle pack, for example, right here in the Legacy Collection. you got Hoth Recon Patrol right here, and that features a fully articulated Hoth Han Solo, a fully articulated Hoth Chewie, a fully articulated R5M2, which I believe this is actually the only pack that released R5M2. And you get a more articulated, not quite fully, but a more articulated K3PO. However, this actually is not the best release of K3PO. This release, a lot of collectors are full familiar with the concept of gold plastic syndrome. Now, you'll notice he's not gold, he's totally white. Well, while it's not literally gold plastic, it mostly refers to gold plastic, bronze plastics, or plastics of similar material, despite the color it might be cast in, that are just incredibly fragile and brittle and break incredibly easily. In fact, this one, this K3PO figure suffers from it so bad that oftentimes sealed in the box, limbs will be broken off of the figure while all the other figures are still tied down in their rubber bands. So be forewarned, while this is a better articulated version of K3PO, this is not the best version of K3PO. In fact, there's an earlier release in the Power of the Jedi single carded collection, and that figure holds up much better than this one does. Not as, not as articulated, but articulated enough for a protocol droid, for those of you collecting. And really, when it comes to your favorite characters, like Han Solo, Luke, Leia, it's all about, well, what are you looking at as far as articulation? Do you want them to be fully articulated? Do you care if they're 5 POA? Do you care if they're a little buff? Well, you, for most of those characters, if not all of them, you can start in Power of the Force 2, but for every single one of them, you can also go all the way up to the Vintage Collection to get the best possible version, or what you might consider to be the best possible version with the absolute fullest of articulation. Various outfits, like for example over here, I've got Echo Base Han Solo, where he's working on the Falcon with Chewie, so he doesn't quite have his parka on all the way, he comes with his welding tools and things, and really cool. And then of course, also, if you're working on an Echo Base display, while it's not displayed here because it's not specifically a hot fixture, 
You could display your Millennium Falcon with your Echo Base display or your X-Wings as well. There's a lot of really cool vehicles and things you can get with your Echo Base display and a lot of various releases of many of the characters. And that's pretty much it, guys. There, there are just so many cool things to talk about with the Vintage Collection with Power of the Force 2 and everything in between. There's even some really awesome battle packs that I didn't have presently to show offhand right this second, such as there is the, I think it's called Battle of Hoth or Battle for Hoth playset from the 30th anniversary toy line, which is this big open window packaging. You've got a Hoth ATST, you've got a you've got a full-size white Rebel Alliance turret, you've got lots of different figures to go with it, including Rebel Soldiers and Imperial Snowtroopers and ATST driver, all kinds of cool stuff. Really awesome battle pack. You've got other really cool battle packs throughout the three three quarter scale collection. You've got so many options when it comes to building out your Hoth diorama. So really it's all about where do you want to begin? Do you want to begin with Rebels? Or do you want to begin with the Imperials? If you want to begin with the Imperials, stay tuned for more content, guys. We will be doing a three three quarter scale Imperials edition of the Battle for Hoth. That's it for today. Leave that feedback in the comments, please. Talk about us in the forums. What do you think about this video? What maybe is your favorite thing to do or collect when you're building a Hoth diorama? Do you like to focus on troopers? Do you like to focus on vehicles and creatures maybe? Let us know. What is your favorite Hoth Rebel Soldier? Do you like the VC over the Legacy Collection? Is there more value to you in the VC over the Legacy Collection? Because with VC, it's more geared to carded, beautiful displays in a lot of cases, aside from offering the best full articulation. Whereas with Legacy Collection, in some cases, you got more value with awesome battle packs featuring many figures and sometimes figures with vehicles. Let us know what you think. Stay tuned for more, guys. There's lots of cool stuff to talk about. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. And go to rebelscum.com for daily news, articles, videos, and all kinds of awesome content. And go to rebelscumshop.com for awesome, exclusive rebelscum.com merch. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you, you rebel scum.